Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're well. It's minus eight degrees here in London, but we can do something useful while we're staying at home and practice our English. A lot of my students and friends ask me what they can do to improve their speaking. So in today's lesson, I'm going to give you some tips about how to improve your speaking and suggest an activity to help you with that. Tip number one, sing along to English songs. This is how I started learning English when I was 12. My dear brother used to listen to English songs at home, so I had no option but to listen to the same things, and that made me really curious. It's a great way to learn vocabulary and slang. It's enjoyable, and if you look up the lyrics, you will also find out what you're singing about. But don't worry about the grammar, because there may be bad grammar to fit in with the rhyming. Tip number two, try tongue twisters. Now, I've made a video about tongue twisters and pronunciation a few months ago, and I'm going to leave a link to that video in the description box for you. Some sounds don't exist in other languages, so you'll need to train your tongue, your lips, and your teeth to produce these sounds. Tongue twisters are an excellent way to help you with difficult phonemes. You can also choose the sound you want to practice. For example, the TH sound or Z. You can choose the R sound or a short or a long vowel like I or E. I get lots of good comments about my pronunciation. So what I did when I was learning English was to imitate other accents. So you can also try that. Tip number three, I've talked about this thousands of times in my previous lessons. Keep a diary and note down the vocabulary you learn regularly by topic. The most common speaking topics are work, food, health, family, sports, hobbies, weather, shopping, holidays and studies in school. Now, how do I know these? It's because I wrote them in my hand. Make a list of all the language, all the vocabulary and the slang you've learned related to these topics. And I'm gonna move on to my tip number four here because it's closely related. Choose a topic and talk about that topic for two to three minutes using that vocabulary and record yourself. You can even do this in front of a mirror. I know this may sound classic to you, but it's a proven strategy to improve your pronunciation and speaking. I also believe it will help you gain confidence when you're speaking as well. Tip number five, read your book or anything you're reading out loud. I also advise my students to speak to themselves while they're walking in the street or doing an activity, just to vocalize what they're doing in English. Uh, but make sure there's no one around you while you're doing that, because they might think you're a little cuckoo. Right, this is the practice part of the lesson. I'm going to give you a few questions and some vocabulary to answer those questions. And I want you to practice my tip number three and four. If you like, you can share your thoughts and comments with me and everybody else in the comment section down below. Let's go. Question number one. What do you look for in a good job? So the topic is work. Now think about all the vocabulary you have related to this topic, or if you don't, go and run and make a list first. Now, let me give you a few. Earn, money, promotion, um, job satisfaction, prospects, salary, hourly rate, uh, wages, payment, get paid, um, the loads and loads and loads more. Now try to talk about this topic for two to three minutes and record yourself. Question number two, what do you think are the best ways to remain fit and healthy? So the topic is health, um, sports maybe, it could be related to food and the vocabulary could be exercise 
all the types of sports you know, food, junk food, fast food, balanced diet, some verbs like cut down on, give up, reduce, uh, variety, organic. Um, Question number three, do you enjoy shopping? Why? Why not? So the topic is shopping and the vocabulary could be buy, sell, spend, pay, return, exchange, um, refund or to get a refund, um, expensive, cheap, cost a lot, market, department store. Okay, so do what I've just done. Make your list, talk about the topic for two to three minutes, record yourself and tell me how it went. Right, this is it from me this week. Thank you very much for being here. Please feel free to comment on the videos and tell me what you like, what you don't like, or what you want to see on this channel. I look forward to seeing you next week. Bye.